Hello, good morning, doctor. Good morning, doctor. Could you present yourself to our viewers? Um, I'm Mantita Marope and I work for UNESCO. Particularly, I am based in Geneva at our office, which is known as the UNESCO International Bureau of Education. Do you have kids? Have you breastfed them? Yes, I have two beautiful kids. They are not kids anymore, they are big women. And I breastfed each one of them for the first year of their childhood. Look how a powerful, successful woman like you find time to breastfeed because most of women say they don't have time to breastfeed because they work. There is no job that is more important than your child. There is no power without the happiness and balanced health of your children. And if you want to lose peace quickly, your children should be in, in a position of distress. And like any other working woman, I had to juggle my career with uh, breastfeeding my kids. I just want to say to the women out there, your real first job is being a mother. And your real first boss is your children. The rest is a fake. Of course, we need to work to raise our children well. And we need to take our jobs extremely seriously. But if we were extremely seriously about our jobs, we should be even more serious about our kids. You are talking to my heart. Thank you so much. And what do you think of this initiative? Um, you wrote a book about breastfeeding to inform women about the importance of breastfeeding. What do you think of this kind of initiative? I think this is a powerful initiative. It's an important one because it's very important for each and every woman, particularly young women, because invariably we all stumble into parenthood. You, you are expected to be a parent from having watched your parents being parents and watched your neighbors, your relatives being parents. But traditionally, we really, in, in Africa, we don't have parenting education. It's a new thing aware that they are making mistakes and they do not fully understand the consequences of their actions and each and every mother I am absolutely sure acts in the interest of their child but when you are not fully aware some of the very pertinent actions that are in the interest of your child you may omit those actions and find that you have compromised your child such as breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is not an option. And it's not just about feeding a child, which a child does need food. Mm -hmm. And when they are young, the first food is their mother's milk. But breastfeeding is also securing the future health of the child. And there is no milk formula that comes close to the balance of nutrients, of temperature, of everything and antibodies that fight diseases and infections of all sorts like the mother's milk so this isn't just about feeding a child it's about grounding the health of the child you don't breastfeed your child when you have time you just breastfeed your child you don't breathe when you have time you don't breastfeed your child only when you have I am saying this recognizing that a lot of women have hardships in their lives. When you feed your your baby through your breast, you hold your breast, your child close. You cuddle the child, you connect with the child's face, they smile, you smile, and you communicate with the child. And part of well of that that bonding the child can never have a bottle. You know, a bottle is a plastic thing. So this isn't about just feeding. It's also about bonding with your child, loving your child, showing it love, and your child literally, physically feeling your warmth. Not just the warmth from your heart, the warmth of your love, but the warmth of your body with the as, as they're feeding it's a very private time and a very special time they have your lap they have your chest and that's your time with your baby to commune and yes ask it how's it going how does the milk taste how are you doing observe you feel them so this isn't just about a preference mm -hmm. that's what i would like to share 
yeah. with you and thanks for having me on your program. Thank you, Dr. Marope. Viewers, I don't know, I have nothing more to say. I think that the words were powerful. I hope it has resonated with your hearts as it did with mine. We just have one word for Dr. Marope. Thank you. Thank you for all this advice. You're most welcome.